y'all welcome back to my channel i am back with another protective style project so with winter coming up and everything you may want to rock a fro but you don't want to go ahead and damage your hair with the winter weather and the cold air it's really easy for natural hair to dry out this time of year and i've experienced that honestly in florida in 30 40 50 degree weather my hair is already drying out from the cold air and I want to continue to rock froze but I don't want to damage my hair so I thought this would be a great idea to show you guys how to make your own kinky curl wig that matches your hair texture without damaging your actual own legit natural hair. So in order to do that I went ham in Sam's Food a lot. I went ham on samsbeauty.com when they had their Black Friday sale I picked up five packs of the Bobbi Boss Kinky Curl Hair. I got it in 12 inches and this is actually crochet hair. It's like your um, usual like free dress water wave loose hair that you have to fold over and crochet in. There's no loop. So um, I got that. I got five packs. It comes in 12 inches and I picked up the color one only because the color 1B was sold out. Pretty much all the other usual natural colors were sold out. So I just stock up on five packs of the color 1B. One. One. That's what I got. One. So yeah, other than the hair, all you're going to need is a weaving cap, you know, your standard weaving cap. Um, you're also going to need a crochet needle. You also may need a mannequin head or pretty much anything that you can fit over, fit the weaving cap over to weave in the hair. Um, there's so many crochet wig tutorials out there, but I still included a small snippet of how I started out. I didn't cut the hair in half or anything before I installed it. I simply folded it over at the middle point of the hair and then I inserted my crochet hook into three to four holes and then hooked on the hair to that, pulled it through and created about three to four knots before I pulled the hair taut to secure it onto the weaving cap. And that's pretty much what I did throughout the hair. Um, I try to space it out between one to two finger spaces between each install individual piece and as I got closer to the top of, of the crown area of the weaving cap I made sure to make the pieces closer together and also where I wanted a definitive part I brought the hairs closer and closer together and that's basically how I did this. This hair, once I got everything installed, I tried it on a few times to make sure there were no gaps where you could see the mesh or netting. Um, and once I was satisfied with the volume of the hair, um, it was still a whole lot. It was like Lion King, Lion's Mane kind of do. And that's totally fine, but I wanted to be able to rock it and have it be practical and practical and convenient for me so it's not snagging everywhere and it doesn't look like I'm being swallowed by a hundred thousand layers of wigs. I cut it down a whole lot and you can see that in this clip right here. I'm just cutting it down and I try to make sure that I cut at an angle or if I was cutting straight up I try to slide the scissors back and forth to give it an uneven look to, to make the strands uneven and not so blunt and more natural looking. So that's pretty much what I did. I'm not an expert when it comes to cutting hair, but I try to make the pieces on the bottom shorter, the pieces on the middle a little bit longer, and then at the top I try to make some of the pieces up here a little bit shorter to create that um, rounded afro effect. So what I did is I just made some small twists in the front and then I put on a wig cap and tried on the wig. Once I was fine with the placement of the wig, I went ahead and unraveled my natural twist in the front and separated it as much as I can without creating a whole lot of frizz so that I could have curls that mimic the curl pattern of this hair. And even though it's not an exact match, I think it matches really well. Someone would have to be really up in my face to notice that you know this is not my hair in front and I just like it because if I want to I can create additional styles where I can pull back my hair and um, conceal the, the heavy black band from the weaving cap so I really like that about it 
As far as the hair goes, it was really easy to work with. Some parts were frizzing out as I was trying to, you know, find where they separate. But I still use them anyways because I'm going for a more voluminous afro look. So I was not afraid of the frizz. It is what it is. Natural hair is going to do what it do. Like I said, the hair was really easy to work with. I had no trouble with the hair at all. It didn't have a funny smell. It was not difficult to work with. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. This is actually the first day of me wearing it um, and I'll be probably going out in a bit to run some errands wearing this hair and yeah, absolutely love the hair so far. So if you like this review of the hair and the little snippet of how to create the wig, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,